so hey guys welcome back to my channel you are watching heavy metal goddess one and this is your girl nikki newt today i am going to be giving you guys my three month update on my breast augmentation so if you're interested and if this is the video you've been waiting for stick around so i know i have not hit you guys up with an update video since my breast augmentation surgery um, I kind of just felt like I needed to have more time to just heal and wait for things to just fall in place I didn't feel like I had enough information to kind of make a video about so I wanted to wait a little bit more time and get more comfortable in my boobies and just let things in nature take its course and then make like a three month video addressing the questions that I've received from you guys over the months and just things that I've noticed about my surgery and my experience that I want to share with you guys. So I first had my surgery in August of 2019 if you guys are watching this in a later time um, and I pretty much just got the surgery for me I've always always wanted bigger boobs or big breasts and I kind of thought that in due time it would come or you know as your body develops or after maybe having kids, you'll get fuller breasts, and I kind of just never did. It's something that I always felt as a woman, a woman should have, um, that gives them the features of a woman and look, you know, like a woman. So I've always been athletic. I've been into soccer, gymnastics, dance. I've been into everything so I've always been athletic and I think that's a disadvantage that I've had um, in my breast area so I kind of always knew that I might not get anything um, I kind of just want to just see if I can be happy in my own skin and after I had my baby my breasts fluffed up when I was pregnant but after my pregnancy they just went back down and that is not what I was looking for I was pretty much just bummed I felt like my kid took the living soul out of my boobs and my life out of my boobs and just took it all away and just left me with these womp womp kind of breasts and I was not happy um, with the way I was looking, I did not feel sexy, just everything, so I made the decision to finally do it. I had some money saved up that I was able to do it. It was in my price range and my budget, so I went ahead and finally did it. I didn't go as big and drastic, but there is a difference between what I had before and what I have now. I pretty much had like a c-cut breast and I still fit the same bras that I did before I had my implants so that should give you guys like a range of how big I went but not really sort of say I have fullness I just am not flat anymore so I feel my bras now not that I didn't feel it before because if I didn't feel it I would have been a smaller size obviously but I mean I can have my bra and not have like any empty area on top because I was very hollow I wasn't not hollow but I didn't have life on top so with the implants it kind of just helped create a dimension I think they look completely natural to me. I think you wouldn't even know that I had a breast augmentation unless I told you. And I don't mind telling people that I've got the surgery done because I don't want people to think that, oh, she got all that just from working out. No, that's not necessarily true. I've always never been able to just get boobs. That's something that I just couldn't do on my own. So I had to get some kind of body modification to kind of help me in that situation otherwise I probably wouldn't do any other surgeries um, just because I don't feel like I needed um, everything works fine it's just 
cosmetic wise I want it a little extra something when I take pictures when I wear my dresses when I go out dancing when I go clubbing and have to wear those super skimpy outfits that is somewhat revealing or you can't really wear a bra with or you know so I want it to feel sexy in my own skin and after my pregnancy I was kind of just left with whatever um, I had left of my boobs so when I got the surgery I pretty much dedicated my boobs back to me I love the work that Dr. T did for me he did such an amazing job he pretty much gave me exactly what I asked him for now if I was going for something else I probably would have went a little bit bigger but I am beyond astonished and pleased with my results that I have to this day because all I wanted was a little um, lift I wanted to be fuller I didn't necessarily want to go the next size up so he pretty much gave me that and more and I couldn't be happier my scars have healed so wonderfully it's been um, truly a blessing to be able to come out and end the way I did and it's just an amazing experience. Everybody's friendly, the staff has been friendly, my recovery has been awesome. Um, day after surgery, well not day after surgery, technically after <coughs> my surgery you pretty much have like an hour in the recovery room and then they send you about your way. So when we were on our way home, it was such a long drive, there was traffic, it was just a nightmare and to be directly out of surgery and in traffic after there and anesthesia is wearing down, you do not want to be in that situation. I think if I would have changed anything, I would have got a room closer to where I had got my surgery done and stayed the night and then traveled the next day because the next day I was in better conditions than I was just directly after your surgery and um, <clears throat> I think that that would probably be something to consider if you guys are interested in getting any kind of surgery done definitely get a hotel nearby and save yourself the pain of the drive because it's very painful to be in the car with breast fresh breast implants and bouncing around um next question i get is size what size am i now and um what size are the implants that i have got so the implants that i had got were 500 cc's filled to 550 cc's so the implants are overfilled to kind of give me a really round look, which is what I wanted. And um, just pretty much give me life in my boobs because I don't want a big implant. I just want it to be fuller. Um, so that's pretty much the size of the implant I got. Like I said before, I do wear the same bras that I wore before I had my surgery. So I am still a C cup. Um, if anything, I have a little <clears throat> muffin top when I wear like my push-up bra. But other than that, I still wear the same sports bra and regular bras. And if anything, I go without a bra now because they look so great. I'm not wearing a bra right now, and they look great. I wore like low cut sexy tops they look amazing uh, I have no complaints I do still wear a bra to bed just because I've always wore a bra to bed before surgery and still kind of after surgery just because I don't want them getting hurt or you know getting in the way or anything like that and going to the gym been doing more upper arm activity since I kind of been not really doing as much arm activity in the gym um, just to kind of help the healing process of the breast um, about let's see like a month ago let's see if I can give you guys uh, what my incisions look like okay so 
that one. A little dark. And then this one. I almost can't see this one. And this was the one I was having problems with. I had like a little hole for some reason. You might still be able to see it. But it's been closing. And they're in different places. I think due to my tattoo. But, I mean, other than that, they look great. So, and I know in my first vlog about my breast augmentation, uh, the last scene I showed you guys, I was at the beach. Uh, a lot of you guys were asking, did I get in the water? And the answer is no, I did not get in the water. You are not supposed to get in the water right after you had your surgery, especially with the ocean out of anything. So I did not get in the water. I was just watching from a far, far distance. As you can see, a far distance because I had to zoom in to show you guys the baby. But getting bacteria into your womb, causing an infection, exposing the implant, which is something you do not want to do, especially when you just invested so much money into looking, you know, the way you do now. So definitely do not get in the ocean. Do not plan any trips to Cancun right after. You definitely got to focus on recovery. Um, so yeah, so I think I chose the best time frame for me because I am getting married. Um, in the beginning of February of 2020 so if I waited any longer I think that it would have just been too late and too rushed and too stressful about my surgery to even think about so I luckily got it at the time that I did as soon as I possibly could and got all my lab work done lab work takes a minute trying to talk to your doctor going back to get that doctor sign the documents about you know, getting the lab work released and saying that it's okay. It's just a lot of uh, information to think about and you would think that, I mean, for me, I couldn't get a hold of my doctor as easily, so it made it quite frustrating, but there are um, other scenarios for you to do if you're having trouble finding your doctor or getting a hold of your doctor the second time for him to approve your labs. Um, and I think that is it. I talked about my incisions, talked about surgery day, drive home. I mean, it is a lot to think about. It's all about choosing the right doctor and the doctor that you feel you can trust and feel comfortable with and talking to and getting out any questions that you may feel shy to just bring up. Um, yeah, feeling comfortable with these people is key because they are going to be leaving objects in your body that will be there for a long period of time. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's just my experience. Dr. T is a well-experienced, certified cosmetic surgeon. He got his education at UCR, there's background information about him online, so he is very out in the open about what he do, where he came from in his education, so I love that. And he's very open on social media as well, so if you guys want to follow him, I will leave some links down below to where you can find Dr. T and set up your consultation. This is my way of stepping into the extreme body modification world because either way you look at it, it's a body modification, it's nothing else, no other way. So, I mean, I'm going to get judged regardless for whether it's my tattoos, piercings, and now body modifications but it's okay, I love it, it makes me, me. And you shouldn't let anybody try to change you because they feel uncomfortable. So that is pretty much a wrap on my update. I'll probably give you guys a six month update video if you like, if you are interested. 
and want to see those videos, please, please, please leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below. Um, feel free to ask me questions or if you want to see any specific videos, uh, leave me a comment down below. All support is welcome and loved. I appreciate everybody who has stuck around and watched my videos so far. I hope it's coming up to par. I'm getting better at just doing certain things in my editing, so bear with me. We are working on this magic and making magic moves. So, like I said a hundred times, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was informative because I love informative videos, especially about cosmetic surgery. I can just watch that all day. I love watching botched. So that is it. If you guys are enjoying, stick around and also don't forget to hit that notification bell because you do want to make sure you don't miss any videos that I post. So until next time, I'll see you guys.